Morning, everybody. Belinda with Just Be Yoga, and it's our Friday home yoga practice. And this week we've been doing slowing down. So come on in. Welcome. As you can see, my co-pilot is here with me today. She's actually been aggravating me all morning. So uh, you might see me pitching, pitching this cat out of the room because she is just too much. Um, so what I'd love to do today, since Fridays have really started to become a nice, fun, carefree day, let's stay with the slow theme, but I'd love everybody to contribute a pose. We're going to try to weave together a sequence, but we're going to do that sequence slowly, and we're going to pretty much, Simon says, our yoga practice here today. All right. All right, Claudia, I expect two contributions of pose ideas for from you and Joe. Go ahead and type in any kind of pose that you want. If you don't know what something is called, you can describe it. Um, take a picture of yourself, post it in there. Let me see that. Um, but so we're going to all tie together and feel ourselves as community, even with this bit of distance of way, you know, uh, between us. And that'll shore up some of that distance because we'll feel connected because we're about to make a thing. Let's make a thing. Um, Kalive on a come. What's up, Gaia? Give me a pose. Twisting chair from Joe. Joe, you must have just felt me because I was practicing a little bit before I turned this on. I was doing some twisting chair. Pavrita Utkatasana. Let's do it. All right. So I've got a twisting chair from Joe. Gaia, what's a pose that you want uh, to do here today? Um, and half moon. Claudia, really feeling it. All right. So we've got half moon from Claudia. Um, twisting Joe, twisting Joe, <laughs> twisting chair from Joe. All right, let's try to pick up a couple more uh, postures. Let's get like at least three more. Uh, let's see, what do we got, Gaia? Um, side plank. Ooh, we're gonna have ourselves. And y'all wanna do this in slow motion? Hmm. Let's see what we've got. All right, let's keep contributing. I see some more people in the room. Uh, come on in. I'm Belinda with Home Yoga Practice Live, and this is our Friday, a fun Friday. But our theme of our practice this week has been slowing down. Uh, my friends here are choosing some rather intense tapas poses, and I'm not talking about delicious small Spanish plates. I'm talking about the heat. They're bringing the heat here today. Kathy, Kathy, do you want to cool us down or do you want to add in a pose that continues to add some fuel to this fire? Let me see what's the pose that uh, that you want to add in. Good to see you, Kathy. Um, all right, we've got, we've got more people in this room. So come on, let's have some fun here this morning. The purpose of home yoga practice is that we're developing ways that we can practice at home. Go ahead and check back onto Wednesday or last Tuesdays, usually in the beginning of the week. I'll set a theme, um, something to work on. How do you overcome the barriers to working at home, uh, to practicing at home? All right. Uh, and this week we've been learning how to slow some poses down, slowing down in our practice and our breath. Let's see, what does Gaia have here? Digging the poses where you start in tabletop, extend one leg. Okay, we got a lot of tapas. All right, y'all, we've got uh, some pretty intense stuff going on here. You want Gaia and Claudia and Joe to be running the show, or do you have a pose you want to um, contribute in? I'm going to give it, give it uh, 10 more seconds. 10. Nine. Come on, Kathy. Three. Three. <laughs> Eight. Seven. Six. I'm going to add in tree. Five. Four. Three. I'm going to add in crane. Two. One. Okay. Now, this doesn't count like our cooling down spaces, but the purpose of this week is not only for us to seek our connection, connection with this body vessel that's holding our spirit so that it's its healthiest to carry us on our mission, our spiritual mission, our mental mission, um, and to cre create that, that nice movability so that it can do its best. And coming up with tips on how do I do this at home? So you don't have to do an hour, do five minutes, do 10 minutes, but set a plan, set an amount of time, do the thing, write it down, um, and maybe get some guidance. Get a teacher, get a book, and then hit repeat, right? Rinse, repeat. Okay, so let me see if I've got this remembered. I've got my best Johnny Carson. Uh, okay, twisting chair, half moon, side plank, all kind of crazy variations. 
Uh, you, you want the arm leg extension, Gaia? Kathy didn't give us anything. Uh, so, Kathy, hang on. And what did I say? <laughs> Crane. And I think I said tree. Okay. All right. Let's start in our child's pose. Okay. So if you have any knee issues, maybe come to standing. We're going to be coming up to standing in a moment. Remember the purpose of our, fo the focus of our practice this week is slowing down. So Belinda's going to have to really work on slowing down. I, I said tree already, Claudia. You can't take my pose. I chose that one. Y'all chose two already. Okay. <laughs> okay. So slowing down. So let's come down. If you would rather start sitting, go ahead and start sitting. You know your body. Please respect its boundaries, especially if we have areas that are injured, if we have areas that are starting to be um, kind of degrading or breaking down, right? Maybe some of us have some areas that are just weaker than they used to be. Here is the space for respect, and we build from the respect, but we don't make a demand. So let's let go of an expectation. This isn't a cost-benefit analysis. We're not here for an, a performance uh, for ourselves. So let's let go of all of those kinds of litmus tests and gauges and measurements. We're not here to measure up with ourselves. We're here to connect to what's truly within us and to respect it and love it. Love what's really going on, all right? And then share that, right? Let's not be dreaming for something else. Let's love this. And let's love falling down. It's fun Friday. Okay. Oh, I got one more comment going on. Can't type. In live video, Belinda. <laughs> okay, Kathy added in a twist. Thank you. Love you, Kathy. Give your little puppy a hug or your great big puppy a hug. Um, all righty, that, that big white fluffy one. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, start in our child's pose. Or a seated space. Feel where you are in the room. Feel how your body feels draping onto the mat. Feel how your breath feels inside of your body. Feel how your thoughts are making your body feel. What's true? What's really going on? Hmm, let's start to invite a nice, soft, calm breath. We're working on slowing down and noticing all that's going on. Even the funny, lovely, lighthearted parts. All right? So, you know, if somebody rips a fart, if, if somebody rips a fart in virtual yoga, does anybody know? It's kind of like if a tree falls in the forest. <laughs> See, I'm already cracking myself up. All right, let's breathe in and come forward to hands and knees. Exhale, sink it back. Maybe eyes open or eyes closed. Breathe in as we come forward. Slow it down. Exhale it back. Feel the weight of the body, your skin, your flesh. Breathe in and come forward. Maybe walk the knees up a bit. Left arm reaches. Right leg reaches. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale. Exhale, slow it down, everybody. Elbow to knee. Right knee down, twist, slow, left hand down, right arm reaches, feel the weight of the arm, keep the elbow nice and soft, left leg lengthens, grow long within yourselves, exhale, elbow to knee, soften your neck, wobble and fall. Breathe in. Don't yank it. Take your time. 
Make it last. Exhale, knee to elbow. Breathe. What are you connecting with in range and movement? Left knee down. Where's your mind? Twist slow, 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 slowly revolving. Right hand down. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, down dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Are you still lengthening, slowly easing into it? Look forward, stepping slow, that foot up, other foot slowly. Roll the spine up, patient, take your time. Feel ourselves standing upright, eyes open. You can take all the time you need, reaching, reaching and lengthening, no pressure on yourself. Folding in and practicing, letting go. Bending the knees, lifting the chest, chair, maybe smile. Let's twist it open and then elbow to that knee or hand to the floor or a block and twist. If you've got those hands to prayer, go ahead. If the hand is down, you can twist or twist. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly release your twist, reaching forward, coming back up to chair. And lay it back down. I'm sorry. His name is Joe. He suggested this. Uh, let's twist. Elbow to knee or hand down. You can always straighten those legs. And twist. And forward. Breathe. Forward. Fold. Let it go. Oh, yeah. Slowly lift the chest. Step the right foot back. Maybe put a knee down as slowly as you can. We're going to come up to crescent. You can support yourself on this thigh if you need. Sinking, lifting, spin the back foot. Foot, take your time. Warrior two. Ha. Straighten. Reach, 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 triangle. Hand can be here or here. Keep moving. Find your way as slowly as you can. Now slow. Bring ourselves up. Feel the muscles in your waist helping out your cause. Good. Sink it down again. Elbow to the knee. Let's reach Ah, Pull it all the way forward. Nice. We're going to bring those hands down. Spin onto the right toes. Walk your hands forward. Stand in the left leg slowly. What's your brush? Good. Left hand down. Stay here. Twist your hip open. Stay here. Or bring the right hand to your hip. Or right arm up, breath in, breath out, both hands down. Warrior three, maybe your hands stay on the floor. Some of you are lifting. Good, we'll bring that right foot down, forward fold. Ah, roll the spine up. Find a clasp behind your back. Roll, open the shoulders, lift the chest. What's going on in your mind as you feel the body? Stay in constant, slow movement. Let the neck go. Let your feet relax. Arms releasing patient, half flat back, lift the chest, hands to the floor. We're going to step the left foot back, make sure that right knee is over the heel, 
Take your time, slow your roll. What feels steady? What's becoming more work to do? Spin the back foot flat, opening it up. Ha, straighten the front leg, don't lock the knee. Reach, lengthen, and a triangle. Breathe in. Can you keep sinking into it? Be in the back leg. Slowly, slowly. Feel this. Feel your waist and your core. All those wraparound muscles bringing you back up. Bending, sinking arms. Let them go. Let them go. Elbow to the knee. Some of you are practicing side angle with the right arm down. Now reach, stretch through the leg, through the waist, through the ribs, and hands down. Slow your roll. Spin onto the left toes. Maybe hop that foot up a little. Now slowly walk the hands out or bring it to a block. Straighten the right leg, lifting that left leg up behind you. Good. Stay here with both hands down, twisting the hips slowly. Maybe stay here or bring the right hand beneath the face, slowly starting to lift the left hand to the hip. Have you fallen yet? Are you breathing? Are you laughing? Breathe in. We're not perfecting. Good. Both hands down. It's wondrous how when we slow things down, we feel like we're perfecting. Close the hip. Energy through the heel, gradually stay there or lift the hands. Have you ever tried? Maybe hands to prayer, who knows what will happen. Maybe you lengthen. Breath, yep, I've got a wall right there. Here, I've let it go. Hands down, left leg down. Good, did you smile yet? Here we go, we're gonna kill that smile. Bend the knees, sink the butt down. Chair, ah, oh, this is the Joe sequence. Here we go, twist, reach, maybe elbow, maybe hand down, twist. Remember your hand can be at your hip. Good, gradually back forward, slow it down. Back up to the chair, mm -mm, good. Feel that top us, twist, ha. Oh. Ready, here we go, elbow, make some sound, make some noise. Twist your chair back to center. Reach, breath. Good, let's come all the way up. Oh, feel the slow release. Ooh, lift your gaze. This is being present, soaking everything up with a biscuit, right? And forward fold. Hmm, I did a juice fast yesterday, so I'm sorry. I got, I got some hunger needs. <laughs> Half lab back, breath in, plant your palms, slowly step back, maybe bring your knees down, and slowly, slowly lower down, listen, and slowly bring it back up, tuck the toes, lift the hips down, dog, breathe in. Breathe out, press the heels back. You don't have to straighten the legs. Tilt the tailbone up. Slowly let the shoulder blades slide, shift away from the ears. Ha. Good, we'll look forward, step slowly. Place it down. Don't shove off with the back leg. Stand in the left leg to bring the right leg up. Half flat back. Hmm. Forward fold. Ha. Good. Let's roll the spine up. We'll bring the right knee up. Find your tree. Some of us are here. Some of us are here. Some of us are here. Breath. Take your time. 
Breathe in, root in that bottom leg. What are you feeling in your hips, in your thighs? Ah, bring that knee back to center, pull it up. Good, cross that ankle, bend the knee. Ah, ah. Good, stand it back up. Can you go slowly, slowly? Pull that knee back up intentionally and bring it down. Other leg, here we go, up up breath yep i did i just totally bent it but i i, I regulated regulate oh god <laughs> all right whatever tree is yours ah showing my rap era my warren g breathe sit up ah did you choose your tree Use your breath. See how I like totally Tai Chi out of that and back up. Ah. How present are we? And knee to center. Bring that foot down. I think I'm noticing Elizabeth came in here today. Breathe in, lift the chest, exhale. Forward fold. Child's pose going. Dale is here. All right, Elizabeth, if you've got a pose that you want to contribute, feel free. We're going to bring our hands down, shoulder distance apart. Walk the feet back. Some of us, this is where we're going to be just bending the knees. That's enough to start. Others of us are going to come to the toes, bringing the knees above the elbow elbows bending back not out like a bulldog in knees high up in the armpits rest them there look forward shift forward say a little prayer keep the gaze up maybe lift one set of toes Woo! maybe you lift another set of toes breath in breath out Bring those feet down, forward fold, ha. Inhale all the way up. Let's reach, exhale, slow your roll, slow your roll. All the way down, ha. Let's do an ohm here, deep breath, as slow as you can. Ha. Half flat back. We're going to step the right foot back. Make your way up. Go slower this time. Notice your equilibrium. Notice what your feet are doing, your ankles, your hips, your groin. Where's your mind? Is that back leg straight? Slowly spin that back foot flat, feeling it gradually open the hips turning the waist sideways, letting those arms start to slowly unfold, shoulders down, fingers just chilling, straighten, don't lock the knee, what's your rush? What are you learning about that calf muscle right now? Asking your waist, your ribs, oh, stay with it slow. Are you still finding length? I'm trying to hit one more line of lights. I think I got it. Ah. Oh, Left hand slow. Take your time. Remember that hand could be at the uh, thigh. Revolving. Revolving, not just your neck. Can you revolve from the belly button? Can you revolve from the mid back? What's the right leg doing? Slow your breath. If you're looking for added challenge, reach that left arm forward. Breath, slow, slow your roll. Breath, don't lift through the shoulders. Use those legs, use your waist. Ah, I'll bet you Joe made a sound there. And sink it down. All right, here we go. We're going into our side angle, slow, reach. Even if you're bringing that elbow down, reach. Get in the habit, turning that chest side for a reason. Find where you want those hands. Some of you are finding your expression of side angle here. Some of you, 
can bring that left arm under the hamstring and that right arm comes back and finds those fingertips. Some of you are like, no, I don't go, go gadget, go that way. Breathe in, open the shoulders if you're here. Breathe out, slowly release the arms. Good, slowly lengthen, stretch like molasses in January. Guess what? It's January. We'll bring the right hand down. Listen, spin onto the back toes. How slowly can you rotate it? Push that right heel back. Start to move the belly button to the left, revolving the rib cage to the left. Shoulders and head are last. Shoulders and head are last. Drive that right leg back. Breathe. Are you still twisting? Are you hanging out hoping to be done with this? Left hand down. Take your time. Walking those hands forward. Maybe having a block out in front of you. Don't shove off. I know you want to yank in this. Slowly shift your weight into that left leg and then press it to straighten. Woo, doggy, right? Push that right heel back, lengthen, straighten. Feel that energy dissipating. Maybe stay here and start to twist that hip open. Ah, you don't have to open it all the way. You can just do it enough where you're feeling ease and steadiness. You could stay here working it out. Maybe some of you are starting to lift that right arm, twisting the chest. Don't go beyond what that left foot can support. Your left foot's like, yeah, 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 what she said. Breathe. Good. We'll slowly bring, slow your roll, slow your roll. The earth is going to be there. It's going to hold you. Close that hip. Can you lengthen your chest forward? What does that mean? What muscles have to do stuff? Ah, all right, we're going to play with that warrior three. I'm just going to reach one arm back, call that cool, call that good. I'm going to lift the other leg. What arm? No, not a leg. Oh. <laughs> yeah, complete levitation, go. No, all right, right, left, right arm. Breath. Both hands down. Hallelujah. All right, standing split to whatever degree you can. Point that right leg up to the ceiling, head toward the floor, and as slowly as you can, let that right leg descend. Slowly, patient. Feel what's going on. Breath. Bringing that right foot next to the left. Half flat back. Ooh, how we're doing? Forward fold. Ha. Half flat back, slowly lift, restore, forward fold, ha. Ah. All right, half flat, maybe your hands are to a block. Stepping the left leg back, take your time. How slowly can you lengthen that back? What are you learning about the right leg? What are you learning about intention of extending the left? Lowering the left leg down or do you just drop it there? What is going on? Feel the toes. What toes? Which toes are on the floor? What's supporting you in that left foot? What muscles? Good. What has to engage for you to start to come up for your crescent? Oh, feel all of the details in your peripheral vision that happen when we slow it down. Maybe you're like, I don't want none of this peripheral vision. This is a human experience. Let's lift the chest. Ooh, feel heat emanating out of us. We're warm bloody creatures. I hope. Spin the back foot flat. Oh, those hips. Woo! Ha! Ah, arms floating. Oh, straighten. Take your time. Don't be in a hurry to get out of it. Hmm. Lengthen. Reach. One more string of lights. One more string of lights. Do I believe? Can my hips help me? Not just my arms. Can my waist help me? Not just my fingers. And lowering it down, twisting, being the back leg. Ooh. Shoulders at ease. We're chilling, y'all. We're chilling. Remember, purely optional if you want to lift that right arm. Purely optional. Are you overdoing it? 
Slow your roll, slow your aspiration. Coming up slow. Ooh, maybe make a sound. Ha. Bending in that knee. Ooh. There we go. We're going into side angle. What wants to move? Hmm. Are you listening to what is willing to give you space in your body? Choose that elbow could be here. Thrust the hip. Slow motion thrust. All right, let's not take thrust literally. Slow thrusting. Some of you are bringing that hand down. Revolving the chest. Others of you are bringing that right arm under. Bringing that left hand. Opening the collarbones. Bending the right knee and breathing in the groin. In and out. Feel the passage of time. In and out. Live the passage of time. What are you experiencing? Ooh, what vibrancy are you going to describe later? Slowly release if you've got a bind. Ooh, open those wings. Fly. Left arm reach, and you can do it in your mind. Oh, and we'll bring that left hand down. Take your time. The earth is there. It's going to be there. Trust that. Now spin onto the left toes. Feel your hips go from open to close. Stacking right knee over this heel. Driving that left heel back. Revolve, twist. Anybody got a glisten? Anybody got a little bit of heat going on? Oh, I got a little heat. Ooh, let's bring those hands down. Take your time. I'm going to bring that left foot up a bit. If you want, to get your block ready. Patient. Right leg is doing everything. Left leg is dead weight. We're just going to straighten the right leg. Oh, yeah. Now lift the left leg. Oh, so much fun. Thank these legs. Shoes. All right, you can bring the right hand beneath the face. Twist the left hip open. You can keep both hands down. Don't lock the right knee. What's your right leg doing? What's your right groin doing? What's your left leg doing? Give it some action. Don't let it be dead weight. Flex the toes. Tell that leg hold itself. It doesn't have to hold anything else, but it's going to hold itself. Twist that belly. We're not perfecting anything. We're just practicing. We're playing. Let's play some yoga here. Just play. Woo. All right. Now, maybe let's bring those both hands down. Slow your roll. Don't just fall to the earth unless you fall to the earth. <laughs> Rotate that hip close. Chest is reaching. Ah, Come out of that right heel. <laughs> Stay here. Or start to lift those arms. Ah. What is your expression? Breath. Good. Hands down. Standing split. Lifting that left leg up, up, up. Calm breath. Calm breath. Left leg comes down to meet the right. Ooh, how are we feeling? If you're not feeling anything, just let me know. Ooh, let's roll the spine up, patient. Mm -hmm. ah. We're going to lift the right leg. <coughs> Your version of tree. Find your mountain in it. Eight slow breaths. Your hands can be where you want them to be. Your eye gaze settling where you need it to be. Can't do eight, bring the foot down mindfully. 
intentionally. Don't make it a contest. Slower breath. Patiently draw that knee up. Bring it down. And inhale, plant the feet down. Be aware of your feet rooting in the earth and then the upper body. Ah, oh, coming forward. Oh. Knees could be soft. Legs could be straight. We're going to plant the hands down. Crane, Bakasana. Palm shoulder width apart. Spread the fingers wide. Remember, you can stay here. Bend the knees. Shift weight in the arms and call that good. This is more than enough. Next stage, bending the knees, staying on the toes, bending the elbows straight back, resting the knees onto the armpits and hanging out, shifting weight forward, looking forward. That could be where you are. You could shift back and forth. Ooh. Good. If you want to take it another stage, looking up, put energy through the chest. Hips go up. Maybe one set of toes lifts. Maybe the other set of toes lifts. Please don't face plant. Go to the side if you're going to fall. Breathe. Laugh out loud. Imagine there's a mirror under your face. Look at yourself. Bring the feet down. Forward, fall, big noise. Ha. <clears throat> Patiently roll it up. Feel your back. Feel each vertebra. Feel your neck. Have you made room for your breath? What's going on in your mind? What are the thoughts pinging around in there? Or is so much going on that you just don't have a clue? Oh, you're just a vibrant ball of feeling. Sweet. Just feeling your prana. It might feel erratic right now. Give it time. We're developing awareness muscles in our yoga. All right. Other side. Your, <coughs> excuse me, tree. When you're ready. Where's your breath? Be true with yourself right now in your mind. What are your motivations? Let go of a selfish motivation. Just say, I just want to feel whatever's right here. And if that means that's tumbling out, that's what you're willing to feel. If you're willing to feel a muscle that's starting to grow, and that means that it's tired, then you're willing to feel it. You're willing to believe that there might be some joy in this very moment. So if you smiled, you're willing to feel that joy. Eight breaths. Eight breaths. Find that joy. You are alive on planet Earth right now. Have the gratitude of joy. Show that gratitude. There is no, oh, well, it was just blah, blah, blah. No, there's nothing to take for granted out of that heartbeat that just happened right now. What? I am not counting my breath. I'm busy waxing poetic, so breathe. <laughs> ah, my left leg is saying scream. Ah. <laughs> breath and my tree wants to fall because that left hip is talking we can bring that knee up hmm bringing that foot down just embracing the truth of yep and I let that go am I really letting it go or am I sitting and stewing on it hmm go 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 letting it go who the remnant is the joy of the lesson and the joy of still being here. Let's breathe in, lift, lift your waist, root the legs. Enjoy the next breath. Commit to enjoying the next breath. Forward fold.
Last one, Bakasana. All right, so we're making a choice. That's crane, you guys. Some people call it crow. I was thought it was called crane. Um, but it's an arm balance. How about that? Hand, shoulder width apart. <clears throat> Spread the fingers wide. Create your base. You could just stay here shifting forward, becoming acclimated to your arms, being your new legs that you stand on. Maybe bending those knees, shifting forward, and call that good. All right, you're remembering this incrementally. This is our third time. Bend the elbows straight back. <laughs> Excuse me. Knees high into the armpit space. That can be where you want to be. Knees not on the bony part of the elbows. That is not a secure base. Nope. It's wiggly. It's bony, sharp, pointy. Nope. Got to bring it up to the armpit space. Forgot to let you know, you're probably going to have some bruises into those triceps if you're not accustomed to your crane. Good. Shifting forward, looking forward. You got to look forward. If you don't, you are going to roll over. Okay. Got to look forward. Breath. Is it hard? Mm -hmm. Is it fun? Yes. Lifting the knees. <clears throat> Sorry, not your knees. That would be a handstand. Lifting your feet. Breath. Maybe drawing the heels up to the butt. What? Breath. Who knows? Ready, Joe? We're going to shoot it back. Okay. Boom. And lay on your belly. Whoa. Feel your heartbeat. Slow your heartbeat. Review in your mind your experience on your mat. How much of it are you retaining because we spent some time sopping it up with that biscuit? Turn your head to the other side. We'll bend one knee back behind us and see if you can find that foot or ankle. <clears throat> you can call that good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some of you want to bend both knees, finding that foot or ankle. You might need a strap or a towel to bring your hands together around those ankles. Try to relax your groin, relax your low belly against the floor. Relax it. Don't smash it to the floor. Soften. Relax your shoulders. Feel your existence in this frame, in this body, in this shape. See if the feet can come together. What does that do to your experience in your back, in your belly, in your breath? All right, whether you've got one foot or both, lift the chest and start to push the feet up to the ceiling, whatever foot you've got to hold up. Breath in, breath out, full breath, not a really shy, sippy breath. Breath in, breath out slowly, lower it down. If you've got both feet, hold on. If you've got one, switch. Relax your shoulders. You can even let the ankles fall out to the sides. Ah. Finding a version of Virasana, our hero, lying on our belly. What are we feeling in our back, our inner thighs, our groin, our spine? Uh, all right. Feet together if you've got both feet. Mm. We'll lift the chest and then maybe start put energy in the feet up. Breath. Don't strain. Ask your body permission. Let it yield and give permission. Even if it's just a little teeny, eensy bit of permission. And we'll lower ourselves down. Don't snap to release. Take your time. Slow. Slow. Slower. Slow. Lengthening those legs back. Let the shoulders go. Let everything go flop. 
And in that flop, just feel the mass of your body. Body mass sinking with gravity. Let gravity take you. Plant the palms down alongside your waist. Slowly, very slowly, come to hands and knees, as slowly as you can. Feel what's going on. Feel your hips, your groin, your spine, your back, your neck. Keep the hands where they are, and we'll shift it back to child's pose. You ought to feel some lengthening in the under armpits, the shoulder sockets, the neck. And Gaya, I don't think I'm going to have time for Vashistasana. But let's put it on our list for next week. So I apologize. Ah. Okay, I lied. <laughs> let's shift forward very slowly. This is going to be an option. You can stay here or step the right foot up. I'm going to tell Gaia to stay there. And so some of you are just going to stay right here. Others of you are going to find plank. And we're going to roll over to the side. So remember, you could have stood there. Stack shoulder blade on top of shoulder blade. Lift the ride leg. Step. Place your foot where everybody else's is. Good. All right, everybody. We'll bring the left knee down. Wiggle your right foot to the left. Ekapada Raja Kapotasana. All right. There you go, Gaia. We got in one little bitty Vashistasana. Ekapada, one footed. All right, left kneecap facing the floor, or bring the left knee up, okay? Sitting up tall, let's twist to our right, whether that back leg is straight or not. Breath in, breath out, twist, slow twist. We're still slow, everybody. Breath in, gradually sitting upright. Breath out, slow molasses breath, finding another millimeter of revolving. Don't snap out, slowly release. Giving, releasing energy, it's due attention. And then we'll let the upper body come forward. Remember, you could have made a choice about this back leg. I'm going to go ahead and straighten it. Sitting up tall and then coming forward. Now this heel could be closer to the groin, depending on what's going on with this hip. Maybe roll up a blanket for under the right butt, unless your butt can securely sink with ease. You could put a stack of pillows here in front of you to rest on it. Others of you may want to lengthen the chest and feel expansion lengthening. Don't just dump yourselves down. Just travel down slowly, gradually, eventually. There is no instant, no tick tock. We're here to feel all of the subtleties of shifting of transition. Otherwise, we're having drive-by yoga. and We don't want to drive by in this yoga. Remember, we're sopping it up with a biscuit. I don't know why I'm talking about biscuits, too, because I'm eating only raw here today, so I need to shut up. Breathe. <laughs> ah. Eight breaths. Feel time in the volume of breath that you're taking in. Feel change 
and states of change actively going on in your body. Feel surrender and gradual letting go in your mind. Patiently feel your way, shifting weight, becoming substantial in various limbs as you bring yourself up. Feel your torso and your belly lengthening. Can you be aware of your organs right now? So I'm going to bring the hands back, tuck my left toes, coming back to hands and knees. We're going to the child's pose, so maybe walk the arms out in front of us so we have a nice lengthened child's pose. And bringing it forward. Now remember, some of you are just going to practice slowly stepping that left foot up. So that means I got to lift the knee. I got to open the hip. I got to reach that heel, right? So play with that nice and slow. Others of you want to tuck the toes, straighten the legs, practicing your plank. Coming over to that right side, stacking foot on foot, expanding your wings open, chest open. Maybe lifting that left leg. Breath. Okay, here we go. Slowly bend the knee, knee high. Stepping. Don't drop that foot. I'm working on not dropping my foot. Bringing it up. Woo! There we go. Knee down. I could have practiced a better breath there. Ha. Ah. Okay, and now we're going to heel toe it over for our pigeon. Take your time. Greet this side. Take that in. What is a greeting for yourself on this side? How does this side want to be greeted? Do we know how to practice that in how we treat our physical body? Ooh, I'll tell you, my low back said, you better be nice. And I'm like, oh, okay, I hear you. <laughs> How do we change that relationship, that conversation that's going on with various body parts, right? Do they say, oh, yeah, bring it, come on. Or are they, are you kidding me? And so then how do you adjust how you're moving in, in accordance with that voice? All right, I'm going to twist to the left. Remember, you made a choice about this back leg. It could have been bent. Up through the spine, slow revolving. Don't yank. And slowly twist. Put some energy and intention into growing tall, lengthening and lifting. Lift your upper body up with the inhale. Revolve the upper body on the exhale. Letting the hips sink. They don't need to clench. Check in. Are your buttocks clenching? As your groin clenching, that's not yielding. That's not surrender. Ha, oh, what are we learning? What are we feeling? Can you feel your toes, your ankles? What's going on in the surface of your skin? We're here to awaken. Wake, wake, wakey, wakey. And now we're forward. Take your time and we'll start to come forward. Remember, you can put a pillow here. Maybe you allow yourself to just lower slowly in increments. Ah, oh, review right now. What are some patterns that you've gotten to change? Do you always just kind of go bloom and throw yourself down? I like to say that sometimes we learn that our yoga practice, we've just been throwing our body like a raggedy hand all. And it's like, that's not nice. That's not kindness. 
you know, if that was a human being, a child, you'd be arrested. So let's look at, ah, am I treating and moving myself with soothing actions? With requests and permission requesting actions? Am I patient enough to go, is this right for you? Does this, does this work? Do you want me to twist it this way? Should we back up and start over? And then have that same conversation with your breath. Hey, breath, is there enough room for you right now? Hey, breath, would you like to stretch out some? Hey, body, what would you like breath to do right now? What do you need from breath? And body might be like, yo, I need breath to like work out some of the muscles down in the low back. And breath be like, well, mind will just never let me do it because mind is always thinking. And then body and breath can go, mind, hush. But cradle, cradle mind. Okay, don't beat up mind. Okay, don't raggedy and all mind. Let's just start to cradle and rock mind. Say it's going to be all right. Be here now. This is enough. This is enough. There's nothing to change. There's nothing to fix. We are not broken. Very gradually, patiently, we'll walk our way upright. Take your time. Take your time. We're just going to shift over onto the left butt. See how slowly you can bring this leg forward. Take your time. Be as lazy as you want. Come on, what's the rush? What's the rush? You really want to leave your mat right now? Or is everything on a cellular level like, ooh, Right, let's, can we just stay here? Don't let the mind start going, but I gotta do blah, 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 blah for the rest of the day. Be right here, it's cool. It's cool. I'm just gonna do a slow scooch to come to the front of my mat. I'm gonna lengthen my legs and I'm gonna lower down to my back about as lazily and chill as I can. Kind, soothing, Let your arms fall. Just tell your mind, shh, when it's starting to ask, is it over? Is this done? Blah, blah, blah. Shh. Feel what's going on right here. Practice that awareness muscle, that patience muscle, that presence muscle. Be right here. And feel the heat of trying to make your mind sit and stay. All right, let's check in. Have the muscles in the feet let go? Or are they bracing for something next to come? Feel your calves all the way around the backs and sides of your calves. Just feel them being calves and not doing. Feel the skin on your kneecaps. Now envision both of your thigh bones. Feel the depth of them inside of your muscle flesh. Feel them attaching up into your hip socket. Feel them attaching down into the bottom legs, the tibia, the tibia and the fibula. Feel the weight of those bones. Let the weight of those bones hang. All right, feel your own groin area all the way back and down around the buttocks. 
all the way up to the pubic bone. And feel your own genitalia and relax. Feel the front of the hips and your belly button area. Feel the weight of the flesh around your belly button. Relax that weight and let it drape heavy around your own organs. Trace your awareness of your own lungs, the entire shape of your lungs, wrapping all around both of their tubular angled shapes. And feel them inflating and deflating. And feel the weight of the volume of air you take in. Feel your clavicles, your collarbones. Feel the flesh wrapping around them. Feel the weight of both of your arms, as though your arms could melt through the floor. Don't push them. Loosen your jaw and just let it hang slack. Feeling the weight of the jaw, feeling the muscles loosen in the hinge, holding the weight of the jaw. Feel the flesh of your cheeks sagging around your cheekbones. The weight of your jowls. Feel the round curvature of the back of your skull. Feel the weight of that curvature, that ball resting on the earth. Eyelids heavy, but slightly parted. Can you see eyelashes? Feel the weight of your eyeballs. Take your gaze into the back of your eyeball. Slow, deep breath. Let's slowly roll to the right side. Notice every bit of movement any limb has to do to help you roll to your side. Be present and deliberate with every expression of movement. Find your fetal position your seed pose, curling into yourselves, hugging in all of the seeds 
we have patiently planted in our practice today. Protect them, nurture them, and we'll eventually bring ourselves upright. Hi, D-Bay. Ah, find a comfortable way of sitting. When you're practicing at home, try to give yourselves some buffer zones of stillness and silence, pre-asana and post-asana, asana being your pose practice. Embedding the seeds of slow and patience and stillness. All awareness grows and thrives in stillness and quietude. When we are fighting with rush and go, we are fighting against being present and seeing and knowing. Try not to overanalyze in your practice. Try to just be willing to be present with what you really are feeling. And then arrive again anew each day or however many times you do to the truth and awareness of what you're feeling. The rest will grow. No goal, no destination, no childhood analysis. Just be present with what is. Hands to the heart center. It is always my true joy to be able to share in my practice with you because that is all I am doing. I'm sharing the, the journey, the experience, um, the lessons, the failures in my practice. And if any of that can help serve you to create your journey, your path of yoking, what a blessing. Hands to the heart center. Mm. If you feel bound or stuck, you're already stuck. And if you feel free, you're already free. Namaste, everybody. Happy Friday. Thank you all so much. Still snuck in a little bit of Vashistasana for you, Gaia. Um, thank you all so much. Please, if you really are enjoying the slowdown, go back to the Wednesday. We really broke down some bits. And maybe I'll find a way to start to incorporate a little bit more of those slowdown elements into different aspects and different um, asanas. Because how we slow down in some of those and what uh, comes up for us uh, is different for, for all of us. And there are some truths, right? Holding a crane and approaching it in a slow manner, that's hard. Sustaining crane for a long time. Remember, stillness and quietude. Boom, build up that tapas. Now I want so much food, right? I want biscuits, I want gravy, I want tapas. And I'm about to have fresh pressed ginger and fresh pressed carrot juice. I'm not mad, I love them. But why do I keep talking about food when I do these raw fasts? <laughs> ah, namaskaram. Yes, thank you so much, Gaia. Um, Yay, Kathy. Well, I hope you didn't overdo, my friend. Um, and I hope that you're, you're picking and choosing the things that work for you. So good to have you. Thank you so much. Big hugs to your big fluffy Dale. Um, did Puma come say hi to you guys today? Not sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, what is that when, when, you know, I guess it's all about focusing on the stuff that we can't have when we're in a space of like that bit of restraint, right? That uh, 
that uh, brahmacharya practice. So if some of you guys are starting to explore your limbs of yoga in the first limb in the yamas, um, brahmacharya is one of them. And while many people refer to it in terms of celibacy or abstinence just in regards to sex, brahmacharya is a deeper practice, right? It really helps us look at moderation and looking at the feeling of, of withdrawing and uh, denial and self-denial. Boop, I'm self-denying myself some biscuits. <laughs> um, yay, good, good, good. Good to see you, good, awesome. Well, maybe some of you will return. I'm Belinda with Just Be Yoga. Today has been our home yoga practice, taking in slow, slow and flow can really build some heat. I'm sure some of you felt some heat maybe today. Um, Come on back tomorrow on the weekends. We have 10 o'clock yoga basics. We don't do as much breaking down as we do in the home yoga practice about the intention of our practice, but I keep the poses on the fundamentals of standing, fundamentals of seated, fundamentals of reclining, fundamentals of kneeling poses and inversions, but always on the fundamentals. If you're looking for a little bit more heat, a little bit more engagement, we'll build up that tapas in Empower Yoga Flow at 11.30. Uh, so thank you all so very much. It's my deep honor to be able to practice with you all. Um, I know, Gaia, want a biscuit, man. I know. Um, I think I'm going to have to, like, do that on Sunday. Right now I'm trying to do today and tomorrow uh, on the raw, raw tip. And it'll be fine. I know that I'm not suffering. I know that I have great privilege. So um, I can uh, infuse my body with living cells. That's what I'm trying to do is having a lot of living i'm a living being so i want some living cells coming into my body that's that's why i'm doing it all right everybody good to see you have a great day go forth do great things